just didn't give no fucks. He's like, no, please, I give up. And you're like, fuck you, arrow, bitch. I love you. <laughs> uh, you complete me, Ayala. Oh, I see. They made their nest here when we're coming to poison it. That makes sense now. Who sneaks up? Sweet. Okay, so... Okay. So you have to keep going to poison the thing. I think it's outside or something, I don't know. Oh, no, we're back inside. Okay. <gasps> ah, the fuck! Here. Rat traps don't do shit to the rats, but they hurt me. Alright, now to poison this poor bastard. It's gonna go away forever for this one. You have to get up top, you have to get up top. Uh, got it. Um, hello, I have done what you've asked me. Can I get in now? Oh, here's the key. We're good. <laughs> Don't keep me locked in here, sir. I'm just a poor old mage. Alrighty. The job is done. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. Oh, thanks. I don't, but thanks. <laughs> What's up, bro? I did it. Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. Of course. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I would love to. That sounds fantastic. Let me get a front row seat here. And you all... Oh, oh no. No, wait, wait, wait. Well, Sabjorn. This now one. that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Yes. Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. <sighs> I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. That's only one person oh, who has two. Now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Well. Why don't you savor it, buddy? By the eight. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. That's right, get tough with them. Farewell, Seth. Bye, bitch. Be careful about who you fuck with in the future. What up, bro? Well done. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Thank you, my brother. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Oh, you got it. Watch what you're doing! I just moved. Oh, that, not that over. Oh, you don't like me knocking shit? You don't like me knocking and knocking? Oh. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe 
that I can't believe the guy didn't die. He got poisoned. <laughs> of course, people mess with rat poison all the time, so I guess that it's not surprising. Let's go. Open this door, open the door, open the door. Yes! Oh, I still close. I didn't even want them. Turn to the crazy girl. Crazy psycho. Who thinks she can beat me? <laughs> Fool. Okay, let's fast travel back to Rifton. Wrong one. All the way back to Rifton. Yeah, let's talk to this uh, pleasant young individual. Faster loading than I thought it was gonna be. What up, girl? I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Yeah, they've been. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. What you got for me, girl? Sword of Despair. This better be worth more than your life. 655. I guess that's a fair amount of money. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. I don't care about your fucking husband. <laughs> okay. Sister in crime. What do you need? Uh, not much, little dear, slow dear. Interest you in some marksman training? Nope. Yeah, I. I, I, I. See if I can get that. He's using the. He's still using his deal. There's one guy in here who, um. Uh, He's still using steel. The the guy who's always offering me training and crap, he usually uh, shoots ebony hey, arrows. So uh, I was trying to see. He's he, he's usually the one shooting in here. I was trying to see if I can steal some. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. <laughs> exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Yep. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangar, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember who it is who's doing this to us. Back from a job, huh? Hope it went well. I like you. You're nice. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Oh, you're angry. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, wait. 
It gets much better. Oh, How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Mm. Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Mm. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... Okay, you don't, uh, you don't have to be so angry. It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Okay, it's a little more than a cut. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. Hmm. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. I have not listened to that story before. That, uh... That'd be fucked up. <laughs> oh yeah, if you open these, there's a lot of good stuff in Sim. Uh, I don't feel like opening it right there now. <laughs> I have not had the best of luck in this entire playthrough with block picking, so... Uh, yeah, first, uh, before I talk to you, my good sir, I want to buy lock picks before I forget. Because I forget a lot. I have work if you've got the backbone. No, uh, I don't care. <laughs> About your silly work. Uh, there you are. Need some gold. Well, I have some Welcome to the you. cozy little trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Oh, you. <laughs> uh, God, it doesn't sell for shit. <laughs> uh, hey, I still have that stuff, don't I? One of those. I stole those and I don't fucking want them. <laughs> I still want that and that. Man, I don't have shit to sell. I might need that. Uh, keep ingredients. Don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. Want that. Don't need well, actually, I'm probably just that. Fuck. Okay, what do you got? You got some, uh. Lockpicks, a girl. That's exactly what I want. Uh, Thank you. Then. Stop pushing buttons. So, you're Brignol's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Why are you so mean? What did I ever do to you? <laughs> you look like you will suck dick. Well, fuck you! <laughs> Anyways. Ah. <laughs> uh. There you are. Why are you looking? I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered. Look at his eyes. Estate, but no one can identify that. My legs still missing? Yeah. This is so odd. Like, bro, I'm over here. What are you doing? Ah, there you are. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. There's so much bootleg shit. The information you recovered from. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. <laughs> Very clever. His eyes, man. <laughs> They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. So angry he can't even look straight. <laughs> because oh, now he is. After all their now, uh, he moved his eyes. Planning. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions.